Perfect. Dude, no, dude, introduce us first. Oh, right. Hello, welcome back to another episode of Will, Will Vlog, Vlog for food. food. I'm Josh. I'm Tim. And today we are at Fast Sully. They are one of four different restaurant concepts under the same roof. That is so awesome, but today we are trying Fat Sully's, which is only one of their four concepts, and then maybe in the future we're gonna try all of the other ones. We're so excited for today because look at this giant pizza, this giant pizza pie. This thing is at least five times bigger than my head. Uh, it is uh, 26 inches in diameter, so. Look at the size of this slice. Yeah, that's the like one of the things they're oh famous my for gosh. is the enormous slice that you get. So we've got all of this pizza, and then then we've got their waffle fries that we're gonna try. And you guys know that I'm a fry connoisseur, fry guy. I'm the fry guy. Oh snap, that's gonna stick. We've got, we've got more food stuck under the pizza. Hold on one sec. These are the uh, Sully knots. They are the same dough that's used for the pizza dough, which is awesome. I've been smelling this pizza the whole time. I'm so excited. This is the Lights Out Burger. I am excited to try this. Fun fact, these pickles are made in-house. They make their own pickles. We're gonna try three uh, awesome drinks today. They are supporting some of the local brands. We've got the Biscuit Pale Ale. We've got the Strawberry Rhubarb Mule. And a Super Mosa. So, uh, excited to try these. Uh, they have what, what, one of these, which one has the uh, 360 vodka in it? This one. That one, which is also apparently a local brand, so. All right, so we are gonna try this New York style pizza. That is a huge. Easy to eat. Ready? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. Yeah, it is. You have to eat it like a taco. Yeah, it's like a pizza taco. So we got onions, we got green peppers, and they're roasted in house, so that is fantastic. It is a garlic pork sausage. Very good, very good. Um, like a sweet sort of flavor underneath. They had like that big three and a half pound ball of dough. They put that, that cornmeal all over the top of it and then they start to, you know, toss it. And it was really cool seeing the guy like use his elbows to like really throw his arm into that. Um, but then the oven they use, it's uh, like a typical conveyor oven, but the temperature is 635 degrees. That's, <laughs> that's a lot. That was 635 and they cooked for like three and a half minutes, which is I mean, it makes sense for 600 degrees, but as it's coming out, you can see like the bubbles of the cheese as it's literally boiling the top of the pizza. What you do is it's all a la carte. So you get the base pizza and then you choose which toppings you want to put onto it to suit your flavors. Sorry, Tim. No, it's, it's fine. Let me get out of my way. Get my pizza. water. Hold on. Just I want trying to. My pizza. Now, I always put crushed red pepper on my pizza because I'm a spicy kind of guy. I like me a lot of spice. You know how they have like the crushed red peppers in like those little glass containers with the little screw <laughs> on lid? Yeah. And I unscrewed it and you went to pour it on and the entire container came out on your one slice of pizza. Yeah. That was a good time. Look at this. Mm-hmm. This is about as long as my forearm. Dude, it's good, mm. right? Okay, oh, man. tell me how it tastes without telling me how it tastes. Remember that scene in Bambi when they're going I've, through I've the- I've not seen Bambi. You haven't I've, seen I've, Bambi? Actually not. Let me pick another it. movie for uh, you, Tim. <laughs> Remember that scene in Saving Private Ryan? I haven't seen that movie either. Wow, Tim. Did you ever watch Teletubbies as a child? My mom didn't actually like it. <laughs> You're kidding me. <laughs> this tastes like I'm frolicking through a perfect meadow with a slight haze in the air as you see the sun shining through and you can see the rays. You see the blossoms of the flowers blooming and then all of a sudden you taste a little bit of a hint of pizza. some kind of <laughs> I smell pizza in this forest where could it be it's right here oh mm. I love the combination of the peppers and the pork sausage up here mm -hmm. it's it's like the perfect combination of flavor and spice in the exact same instance you know it's really crazy because there's enough toppings on that one slice of pizza to cover an entire pizza these are the Sully knots. These are garlic parmesan pizza knots. And they have the, you know, the the drizzle on the top. I didn't get any of that on my knot. Gotta be more aggressive. <laughs> mm. The word I'm looking for is pillowy. I was thinking squishy. You're right. Very pillowy. pillowy. Just the slightest bit crisp, because they get fried for I think like two and a half, three minutes or so. But they're just the same dough that's used on the pizza. And so it tastes like you're eating pizza dough which is awesome. That's a really good flavor. I gotta try the tomato basil now. Mm. 
Oh yeah. I like that one better, personally. Which one? The, the tomato basil. Tomato basil? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really fresh tasting. This could be a meal for a small person. Like, I'm just gonna tell you that now. That's incredible. That is a delightful consistency. It's almost like a paradox. Like, it's, it's dense, but it's not dense. It doesn't feel dense, but it is dense. That's what I'm thinking of, because when I bite into this, I know that there's so much substance here, and there's so much flavor, and there's so much complementing dimensions of just this one knot, but also, it's not taxing to eat. It's like a very light, fluffy texture. I'm sorry, taxing to eat? <laughs> Name something that's taxing to eat. Crab legs. I'll eat crab legs all day. But also, the reason why I would eat crab legs all day is because it takes all day to eat crab legs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this has to be one of the best knots I've ever eaten. It's just too perfect. So this is the DBC Supermosa, which uh, DBC is Denver Biscuit Company. And this particular drink is created with a mixture of Svedka Clementine vodka and orange juice, as well as some sparkling wine. So I'm gonna try this really quick. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. These are the waffle fries. And all of you know that I'm the fry guy. I like trying all the fries because I'm a good judge of whether a fry tastes good or not. So, I'm gonna try this. Whoa, that's crunchy. <laughs> that was good. Very satisfying crunch. Okay, so the first thing that comes to my mind is it reminds me of something that is very spiced and that's probably because of the ginger beer that's in it. And the strawberry rhubarb is just a really good tart combination with the spice that comes with ginger beer. And so it's a really well-rounded drink. My grandmother used to have a rhubarb plant outside of her house. Her and my great-grandmother used to make rhubarb jam, rhubarb preserve, stuff like that. It was so good. We make rhubarb pie. I love rhubarb. Rhubarb is good, that's what I'm trying to say. This is just kind of like a nice little reminiscent piece of, you know, history, and also it's just delicious in general. Being a mule is also that, like she said, kind of like that spiced sort of a, a flavor to it. So really go into this drink expecting mostly to get that sort of spiced mule experience. The strawberry and the rhubarb are really honestly quite subtle flavors in this. Very good, especially with the lime in there. This is made with uh, 360 Vodka, which is one of the local brands around here, along with, uh, they do support Boulevard, uh, Cinderblock, some other uh, local breweries around here. This is the Lights Out Burger. It's the double smash burger with aged American cheese, house-made pickles, onion, and burger sauce on a garlic butter toasted brioche bun. Wow, nice cut, that's good. I know, I cut it today. Mmm. Mm. That cheese melts all the way through it. Oh wow. Whew. Oh man, that's a good pickle. They got some like, some like punch to them. Zest. Zest is the correct word, because it's not spice, it's not kick, it is zest. zest. They, they, they managed to make a burger so good that I can be confident in the decision to choose a burger and get just as much enjoyment out of the burger as I would the pizza here. So, the burger, not an afterthought. This yeah. is uh -huh. the Biscuit Absolutely. Pale Ale. Oh, completely. I'm gonna try this. For sure. Um, I already did try it, but yes. I found it so interesting that I have to share my thoughts on camera real quick. Indubitably, yes. Wow. The flavor like, that, really does start like up here. Though. It's a subtle flavor at the top, and then as it hits you, mm -hmm. it hits you with a multi-level punch of flavor. There's Max. all sorts of different notes that it hits all the way down until it gets to the bottom, which the flavor experience of just one sip lasts probably a solid seven seconds. I was literally thinking, like, you you take the sip it, and it just kind of like cascades down the Isn't flavor trail. And then the aftertaste even has an interesting flavor too. If you're in Kansas City, you have to come here to Atomic Cowboy, where they have all of the concepts under this roof, including Fat Sully's Pizza. And um, this place has actually been featured on multiple different food shows and food outlets. So Food Network, Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives, Food Paradise, Grill Dads, and all sorts of other kinds of food outlets. So this place is making a mark. Probably the best New York style pizza I've ever had in Kansas City. So you've gotta come and check this stuff out. This is exceptional.